matchup, it's the Abu Dhabi Wildcats taking on the Dubai Stallions. There's a lot of star power in this game. On the Abu Dhabi side of the ball, it's running back Vivaldi Talese, who ran wild last week with three rushing touchdowns and a reception touchdown. For the Stallions, it's Askia Horn Pierre, who's established himself as one of the premier wide receivers in the Emirates American Football League. I'm with Chris Wenzel, the starting quarterback for the Dubai Stallions. Chris, it was an overall great victory for your team, offensively, defensively, and special teams. Yeah, I mean, we uh, started off the game with a bang and then ended up uh, in the fourth quarter with a key run for a touchdown. So, tough game, battle, a good battle back and forth. And it's been all Horn Pierre all year long, but today another receiver stepped up for you in Solomon. Has he been improving all year long? Uh, Saeed has always been a reliable and steady. She's a strong receiver. So, uh, you know, we had options all around. Now you're alone in first place. You improved to 5-1-1. One, and one. How does that feel? Uh, it feels good, but, you know, we're, we're not really looking at the, at the table right now. We're really focused on the next game and just, you know, like I said before, improving for the playoffs. It was a close game, a back and forth game, but you ended up losing 14 to six. Your thoughts on the game, coach? Uh, I think overall it was a good game. Um, we've had some adjustments we made. First of all, we knew that the Stallions wanted to come out and do the quick hitters. Um, they did that um, successfully, and uh, they got on top early. I, I'm, I'm proud of the fact that the way my guys played, they stood up. Um, you know, especially missing uh, three of my starters this week with two linebackers and a defensive tackle out this week. Um, I knew that we, we, we had to adjust, and everybody, you know, it's next man up in Abu Dhabi. So we're, I'm really proud of my guys, and I, I like the way they play. Corey Williams continues to impress. He's one of the best wide receivers in the whole entire league, soft-spoken. Huge touchdown out there today. Yeah, well, Corey is uh, definitely a, a great wide receiver. He's, uh, he represents uh, the team and all, always uh, and himself very well. Every time we give him a, an opportunity, he, he steps up and make a big play. And uh, we appreciate him having him around the huddle, around the locker room. He's always, you know, laughing and cheerful. So he's not, he's humble, but he's, you know, he's got a, also another flip side too that's also entertaining. Does the defense get it done if Harold Lindsay's out there? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, we can, we can definitely do it uh, without Harold. But we've, uh, we, we choose not to. Harold is a great leader, and we appreciate um, what he brings to our team, that emotional energy. Also, we're without um, uh, Bobby Admire on the other side as well tonight. So. Um, so, you know, we, that's, that's a lot to be out of. You were missing two-thirds of your, your um, linebacking core. It's, uh, it's a big hit to you. But, hey, like I said, Abu Dhabi's next man up, and we, we appreciate that.